Texas Construction has just finished a whole house rehab project involving a drafty, uninsulated home in the suburbs of Washington, D.C. Remodeling Magazine recently toured the home to learn about the many devices that were installed to make it energy efficient. But there's one big thing that Landis didn't change, the look and feel of the home. The owners wanted to hold on to the place they remembered growing up. That's what Landis delivered. Once we had gutted the house, we realized that there was actually no insulation and there was no studs, really, for many of the walls. It was really block and then a furring strip and then the drywall. So there was a three inch, a, th a three quarter of an inch air cavity. This was kind of the, the cold zone, right? Where you... the, the, sunken, the sunken dining room, which might have actually been a garage at one oh. point, um, got re-insulated re and, and painted and, and re-carpeted. But you had to pad out a lot, right? Yes. Around all the, all the exterior walls were padded out. So basically we went back and reframed it out, furred it out with two by sixes. Certainly in the better insulated ceilings, it was probably R15 or 16, but now it's gone to R like 40, so. Well, the two systems that an average house might not have would be a solar system and a geothermal system. And the geothermal, which is wells drilled into the ground, the actual well is about six inches and there's a steel pipe that's put down into the ground and then inside of that are two black plastic pipes that go down and are connected at the bottom with a, basically a U, U connector. The wells went down from 300 to 400 feet and the water is pumped into the ground and then it comes out and the basic principle behind geothermal is that the ground is at a constant temperature of 58 degrees so once you put water into it it will become 58 degrees and then it when it comes out, you can extract heat from it or you can put heat into it. These are the pieces of the geothermal system. The lines right here, up here, are the ones that go out and then they turn out to the front of the house and they go out into the three wells. They come into these different compressors here. There's also another, another unit upstairs in the crawl space, but these are the compressors so they take the 58 degree water and they either put heat into it or they extract heat from it. Yeah, it's energy efficient in, in, in respect to an air handler which is or a compressor which is on the outside of the house which has to put air through it so on a 30 degree day or a 20 degree day trying to extract heat from 20 degree air is very inefficient. Your compressor has to run long and hard to get that kind of heat and even when it goes below a certain temperature you have to have backup heat otherwise it just won't do the job. Whereas with a constant 58 degrees, you're always going to have a steady heat source. The homeowner was um, a pretty high up official at the EPA at one point. He was really, had dealt with international work that the EPA does. But um, that was one of the strong reasons for doing as many green features as he could. The solar part, we did a 14 kilowatt solar array on the roof. Um, it faces south and um, ideally it will provide 30 percent of their electrical needs. And when it's not being used it goes out into the grid and it turns their meter back. A lot of the house faced north and was very dark and there were no skylights so we put a lot of skylights in, a lot of sun tunnels. In the second floor we put two dormers full of windows so there are two larger bedrooms up there that have a lot more light than they used to. The homeowners wanted two main things. The first was they wanted to renovate their house, and the second they wanted to be as energy efficient as it could be. They were very tied to keeping the existing house. It was very connected to their family and the memories of their family and having their family come back. So in that way it was sort of a carousel, you know, with all those little Kodak slides of their life in a sense, and they, they really wanted to create that but have it new and improved. I think they will have that, certainly.